Yeah. Welcome to Sai Master Academy. So today we are going to discuss the topic Maxima Minima from uh, Calculus part, first year maths only. So Maxima Minima nunchi manaku annual exam lo oka long answer ostundi. One long answer with weighty 7 marks from Maxima Minima for maths only intermediate first year. So what is maxima minima? I will give you easy introduction. Just you listen that you can easily understand maxima minima. So how we can find the maximum and the minimum? How we can say that has maximum or minimum? So there is a little bit difference. See, suppose if y equal to f of x be any function. Okay. This is a function. y equal to f of x be any function. Whatever it is, this function may be area, uh, uh, volume, Whatever it is, surface area, whatever it is, is a function in terms of x, in terms of h, in terms of r, whatever it is. Depending on the question, it is a question about the function form. Okay. So this is a function, y equal to f of x be a function. So for my maximum minima, remember, steps I will tell you, how we can solve. First, first step, we have to find the derivation of the given function. Before that, the mandatory step is we need a function first of all. Function like one man in a So we need a function first of all. So that is y equal to f of x. If given, okay, if not given, we have to form by reading the question. Question which has we man function form yes. Okay. So this is a function given and the derivation we are finding. So after finding the derivation for maxima or minima means to find maximum or minimum whatever it is this f dash of x you have to make zero okay first we need a function then we have to find the derivation of that function for maximum minimum we have to make the derivation is zero by making the zero you may get the value of x in terms of h h in terms of r r in terms of a a whatever it is you will get the value of the x and after that you need to find f double dash of x for first derivation for first day after first derivation for maximum minima you need to make f, of f dash of x equal to 0 then you will get the value of x and after that you have to find f double dash and after finding f double dash this x value you have to substitute in the f double dash of x okay after finding f double dash, uh, x value is the substitute say. Sometimes you will get directly f double dash of x is equal to a value, negative or positive. But sometimes you will not get, I will give small example also. Okay, first listen the steps. First function, the first derivation and make first derivation 0 for maximum or minima, then find f double dash of x and after finding f double dash of x, substitute x value in this f double dash. There you will get two cases. First case may be f double dash of substitution. After substitution x, you will get less than 0 or f double dash of x may be greater than 0. So, from these two, you will get one of the case. Suppose if f double dash of x less than 0, then the given function, this function, we are discussing about this function. So, if f double dash of x less than 0, then the function has since less than 0 means negative remember maximum value or area or surface area or whatever it is if f double dash of x is less than 0 then f of x has maximum whatever it is that if f double dash of x greater than 0 then f of x has minimum value area surface area whatever it is okay so these are the steps as a first okay malli cheptunna first mana function kavali dani first derivation cheyali maximum or minimum ganu kodaniki aa derivation ni zero cheyali ala chesthe manaki x value vastundi and after that f double dash find cheyali f double dash lo manamu ee x value ni substitute chesthe less than zero vachindi ankonde Output f of x key maximum value on to greater than zero in that one f of x key minimum value on it. So you can make money different. Jephthana x in replace say you 
ఎగ్జాంపుల్ తో చెప్తే మీకు ఈజీగా అర్థమవుతుంది లెట్ టేక్ వన్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఫంక్షన్ ఏంటంటే ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ అనుకుందాం ఎక్స్ క్యూబ్ అనుకుందాం ఓకే ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ఎక్స్ క్యూబ్ రెండు ఇది చెప్తాను ఫస్ట్ ఏం చేయమని చెప్పా నేను డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ కనుక్కోమని చెప్పాను రైట్ సో ఎక్స్ క్యూబ్ కాకుండా నేను ఏం చేస్తానంటే ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ టూ ఎక్స్ తీసుకున్నాను ఓకే దిస్ ఈస్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ఫస్ట్ డెరివేషన్ చేయాలి కాబట్టి ఏరియా ఫైండింగ్ ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ టూ ఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ కి టూ ఎక్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ కి టూ అండ్ మాక్సిమం ఆర్ మినిమం కి ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ని జీరో చేయాలి కాబట్టి ఫర్ మాక్సిమా ఆర్ మినిమా ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో మీన్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ ప్లస్ టూ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో మీన్స్ టూ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ టూ క్యాన్సల్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ అండ్ మళ్ళీ ఏం చేయాలి యాడ్ టు ఫైండ్ ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ రైట్ సో ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ విల్ బి దీనికి మళ్ళీ డెరివేషన్ డెరివేషన్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఫర్ టూ ఎక్స్ డెరివేషన్ ఇస్ క్లియర్లీ టూ అండ్ ఫర్ కాన్స్టెంట్ ద డెరివేషన్ ఇస్ జీరో సి ఐ సే గాట్ ఫర్ మాక్సిమం మినిమా ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ జీరో చేయండి ఎక్స్ వాల్యూని తీసుకెళ్ళి ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ టూ రాయండి దిస్ ద ప్రాసెస్ యాక్చువల్లీ బట్ ఇయర్ ఫర్ ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ వి ఆర్ గెట్టింగ్ డైరెక్ట్లీ వాల్యూ నెంబర్ వి ఆర్ గెట్టింగ్ ఓకేనా సో ఎప్పుడైతే నెంబర్ వస్తుందో ఆఫ్టర్ గెటింగ్ ద వాల్యూ వీ కెన్ సే డైరెక్ట్లీ లెస్ దెన్ అండ్ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ ఐసీగా చెప్పొచ్చు విచ్ ఇస్ క్లియర్లీ గ్రేటర్ దెన్ జీరో నా వి నో నీడ్ టు సబ్స్టిట్యూట్ అగైన్ ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ఇఫ్ యు టేక్ ఎఫ్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఎక్స్ క్యూ ప్లస్ సేమ్ సమ్ 3x x క్యూ ప్లస్ 3x ఆర్ సమ్ 3x స్క్వేర్ సంథింగ్ వాట్ ఎవర్ ఇట్ ఇస్ 3x స్క్వేర్ నా సో 3x స్క్వేర్ మీన్స్ x క్యూబ్ మైనస్ 9x ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ x క్యూబ్ మైనస్ 9x వి హావ్ దట్ ఓకే 3 9 27x సో ఐ యామ్ టేకింగ్ సమ్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ ప్రాపర్లీ సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద ఫంక్షన్ ద ప్రాసెస్ వాట్ f డాష్ ఆఫ్ x వి నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ f డాష్ ఆఫ్ x ఈస్ ఈక్వల్ టు 3x స్క్వేర్ 27 అగైన్ ఆఫ్టర్ f డాష్ వి హావ్ టు మేక్ f డాష్ ఆఫ్ x ఈక్వల్ టు 0 so f dash of x equal to 0 if you make then you will get what 3x square minus 27 equal to 0 then 3x square is equal to 27 3 1 ja 3 9 ja x square is equal to 9 x is equal to we can write what 3 again we need to find f double dash of x for this f dash of x we are finding f double dash of x f double dash of x is equal to clearly what 3 2 ja 6x minus 0 that is here f double dash of x is a function in terms of x here f double dash of x is a value here we no need to substitute x value but here we can't say this is less than or greater than here we have to substitute x value and the main thing so here if you substitute x value f double dash of 3 you are substituting 3 is 6 into 3 which is equal to 18 now you can say this is less than 0 or greater than 0 clearly greater than 0 for greater than 0 the function has minimum value here also the function has minimum value the function has minimum value i am not saying the function is minimum okay so this is not the minimum value i am telling you the difference between minimum area having minimum minimum value having minimum i will tell you see ikkada em chesam manam function teeskunam the first derivation chesam ఈక్వల్ జీరో చేసాం ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ వచ్చేసింది ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్ సబ్స్ట్యూట్ చేయకుండానే డైరెక్ట్ గా మనకు తెలిసిపోయింది ఏంటి మాక్సిమం అని సారీ మినిమం అని సేమ్ ఇక్కడ కూడా ఎఫ్ ఎఫ్ డాష్ ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ అండ్ ఎఫ్ డాష్ నుంచి వచ్చిన ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ రాయగానే వీ అండర్స్టాండ్ దట్ ఫంక్షన్ హ్యాస్ మినిమం వాల్యూ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మినిమం వాల్యూ సో దట్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ క్వశ్చన్ సో క్వశ్చన్ అడుగుతారు వాళ్ళు ఫైండ్ ద మినిమం వాల్యూ ఆల్సో సో ఆ మినిమం వాల్యూ ఎలా కనుక్కోవాలి అంటే మళ్ళీ చెప్తున్నా ఎఫ్ డబల్ డాష్ ఎక్స్ అనేది దట్ టెల్స్ అస్ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ హ్యాస్ మినిమం ఆర్ మాక్సిమం వాల్యూ దట్స్ ఇట్ దిస్ నాట్ విల్ గివ్ అస్ ద మినిమం ఆర్ మాక్సిమం వాల్యూ జస్ట్ ఇట్ విల్ సే దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ మినిమం వాల్యూ ఎట్ ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ సంథింగ్ దిస్ ఫంక్షన్ ఈజ్ హ్యావింగ్ మాక్సిమం వాల్యూ ఎట్ ఎక్స్ వాల్యూ సంథింగ్ బట్ this will not tells directly what is the minimum what is the maximum value okay for example this is the area of a curve this is area of a curve we are taking f of x that area we are considering as f of x 
f dash of x f dash of x equal to 0 x equal to minus 1 f double dash of x equal to 2 then we can say what this function has minimum value this function has minimum area here we are taking area this function has minimum area that's it what is the minimum area then we have to do simply substitute x equal to minus 1 in this function so a minimum area is f of what is the value x value minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 plus 2 into minus 1 which is equal to minus 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 3. Suppose if you consider this is the volume of something and if they ask what is the minimum value. So same process after finding this f double dash we consider this function has this function has minimum value. What is the minimum value? Then you have to substitute x equal to 3 in this function. So you will get what? f of 3 is equal to 3 cube minus 27 into 3. You will get something 3 cube 27 minus 27 into 3. Uh, something you will get 27 into 3. You will get something which is negative value. You will get something. So that is the minimum volume. This is telling us this function has minimum volume. This is not minimum volume. This is not minimum volume. What is the minimum volume? You have to substitute 3 in this function. Since this is the volume, we will get the minimum volume. So this is the uh, introduction for maximum and minimum. So if you understand perfectly, you can solve any question easily. Okay. Steps watch function, first derivation, make first derivation 0. Again, find second derivation. Second derivation, you have to substitute x value in the second derivation. Uh, it will get less than 0, has maximum value. Greater than 0, has minimum value. Sometimes you make it directly f double dash equal to value. Then we can say directly this has minimum or maximum. Okay. So now we are going to discuss the problems I will give in this video two simple questions then we, I will give in next video some lengthy questions okay just to yeah see for maximum minima easy questions I am giving now and these also important questions and comparing to remaining questions these two are very easy you, we can understand easily uh, how we are finding maximum or minimum See question, find two positive integers whose sum is 60. Always remember you should spend minimum time for question understanding in exam. Remember, otherwise you will not get solution correctly. So what is telling? Find two positive integers whose sum is 16. So first of all, see solution. He is asking clearly two positive integers, right? Let x comma y be two positive integers and given x plus y is equal to 16 whose sum is 16 okay <clears throat> continuation sum of whose squares is minimum so generally we discuss what we need first of all the function then we can do the first derivation. First derivation equal to 0. Second derivation. And then second derivation you have to substitute x value. That is a process. But here they didn't give directly function. But how we can find the function from this description. He will mention find minimum, find maximum, show that minimum, show that maximum, absolute minimum, absolute maximum, or greatest, least like this. He will uh, mention the words so by that word we can we can find what is the function given here is telling minimum what is minimum is telling sum of whose squares is minimum sum of whose squares whose means integers what are the integers x and y so sum of whose squares sum of whose square means x square plus y square this is minimum he is asking to prove means this is the function so in this way we have to form the function understand so let this is the function so let this is a form x so this is the given function we are doing the given now we need to do first derivation second derivation first derivation zero there is a process actually but here if you observe x square plus one more different variable y there we have to eliminate this y by writing here y equal to 16 minus x we can write y equal to 16 minus x i am writing in this function that is f of x is equal to x square plus 16 minus x whole square now you can 
after derivation. Differentiation with respect to x, f of x derivation, f dash of x, which is equal to x square derivation, 2x plus. This is also x square form only, x power n formula. 2 into 16 minus x. And for 16 minus x, we have to do internal derivation. Na? For 16, 0. For minus x, minus 1. Now, one more step. 2x plus 2 into minus 1. We can write here directly. Minus 2 plus into minus. Minus 2 into 16 minus x. This is f dash of x. Steps of what? First function. Then first derivation. Then make the first derivation 0. For maxima or minima f dash of x is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 2 into 16 minus x is equal to 0. Taking that side, 2x is equal to 2 into 16 minus x. 2 to both sides cancel. Now, this minus x I am taking this side. Then, x plus x will be 2x is equal to 16. Then, x is equal to what you know? 8 to 1 jack. 2 e a 16. Listen, listen. Okay. So, here x value, we have x value. He is asking find two positive integers. We need to find x and y. And also he is asking to show that the sum of two squares is minimum. To show that we need to find f double dash also. Na? So, from f dash of x, we are doing double derivation for f dash, f double dash of x. For 2x, it will be 2 minus for 2 minus 2 into for 16 0 for minus x will be minus 1 which is equal to 2 plus 2 which is equal to 4 which is greater than 0. f double dash greater than 0 means f double dash of x greater than 0 means f of x as greater than minimum less than maximum just now I gave you as minimum value as minimum Area as minimum. He is asking to show that that, 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 show that, that only. Sum of whose squares is minimum. Yeah, is minimum. And also find what are the integers. One integer we got x equal to 8. Just substitute x equal to 8 in this one. Y equal to 16 minus h is equal to again what? 8. Therefore, x is equal to 8, y is equal to 8, and this has minimum value. So this is the solution. Very simple question. This is and very important also. Come to this question. Find two positive integers x and y. Same question. So, solution let x, y given are positive integers. And also given x plus y equal to 60. They are only given x plus y equal to 60. From this we can add y equal to 60 minus x. Why? Because we need same process. Na? And what is the function? A given function luckily, x, y cube is maximum. So, given f of x is equal to x, y cube, but we need all in terms of x only. Na? That's why write y value in place of y. Then you will get f of x is equal to x into 60 minus x whole cube. Now apply differentiation. Differentiation with respect to x f of x differentiation, f dash of x which is equal to, you have to apply which formula? uv rule. So, what is uv rule? You know already, uv whole dash is equal to uv dash plus v u dash. Okay. So, now, u x v dash, the derivation of this only, same like this only, x for n formula we have to apply. So, that is 3 into 60 minus x whole square into internal derivation of 60 minus x will be, for 60, 0 for minus x will be minus 1. u v dash plus v. What is v? 60 minus x whole cube and u dash x derivation. What is x derivation? 1. So now simplification. This is 3 x into 60 minus x whole square. So we have to write minus also. Minus 3 x into 60 minus x whole square plus 60 minus x whole cube. This is f dash of x. But for maximum minimum we have to make f dash of x equal to 0. Na? This only. For Maxima or minima f dash of x is equal to 0. So we can write this equal to 0 na? minus 3x into 60 minus x whole square plus 60 minus x whole cube is equal to 0. Then I am taking negative that side. Now 60 minus x whole cube is equal to minus 3x into 
60 minus x whole square. Okay. So here cancel both sides. What happened? Plus yeah. So these two times cancel, one time is there. So you will get what? 60 minus x is equal to 3x. Now taking x that side, 60 is equal to 4x. Now you have 4 1 ja, 4 15 ja cancel. x is equal to what? 15. We need to find y also. Na? Just substitute here and directly. y is equal to what? 60 minus 15. 60 minus 15. What is 60 minus 15? 45. So we have now x and y. But we need to show what x y cube equal to maximum. That's why we have to find double derivation. F double dash of x is equal to again here what you have to do uv root. Okay. So that what? Minus 3 into u x v dash 60 minus x whole square means 2 into 60 minus x whole power 1 plus v. What is v? 60 minus x whole square and u dash x derivation 1 only no need to write and for this plus 60 minus x whole cube now this is so 3 into x power n n into x power n minus 1 whole square and for 60 minus x will be minus 1 so this is a double dash of x here you have x variable na? we can't say directly less than or greater than now you can substitute x equal to 15 in this equation then you can say less than or greater than. I am substituting here f double dash of 15 is equal to minus 3 into 15 to 30, 30, 60 minus 15, 45. And plus this 60 minus uh, 15, 45 whole square. Plus, sorry, plus into minus, minus 60 minus 15, 45, 3 into 45 whole square. Okay. So, just observe, this is minus. So total value will be minus. This is minus. Total value will be minus. So completely the value will be minus. So we can say this is clearly less than 0. If f double dash of x less than 0, then that is clearly maximum. Since f double dash of 15 is less than 0, f of x is maximum that only we need to prove okay so please try to share to maximum people to understand easily maximum minimum one long answer you will get in annual exam from first year maths 1b calculus for uh, this only two questions i will explain more six questions in next videos thank you